My name is Zach Arias and I am in Havana, Cuba, and I am shooting with the brand spanking new X100V. One great benefit of traveling with such a small camera is it's not intimidating at all when you pull this thing out. You're just somebody taking some photos with a little camera, but the quality you get is equal to something that's much larger than this. Now when I travel, this is pretty much all I take. A small little think tank bag, and it's got the X100. I use the SP3 printer. I usually carry two or three extra packs of film, some extra batteries, and spacing. And when I don't want to carry all of this, I'll just throw the X100 on a black rapid strap and keep a few extra batteries in my pocket and be on my way. One thing I've been into lately is finding little intersections like this where there's lots of people kind of coming and going and I just will camp out in a spot. I'll find my composition of the basic environment and then I just wait and I watch as people and cars and bicycles and dogs and cats kind of come in and out of the frame and seeing what I can make out of just a simple little scene like this. People think it's a cliche to come to Havana and take pictures of old cars. I love taking pictures of the old cars. They're fantastic. What I challenge you to do is Get all the pictures of cars done out of your way. Look at that cool car, look at that cool car, look at that one. And then start looking at the details. Start seeing if you can stack a part of one car with another car in the background. Or kind of my favorite way to photograph these cars is that there's somehow an element in the background or the foreground of a photo of something else going on. It gives you just a little piece or part of this culture, of this classic car culture, but it's not forefront in your photograph. And that for me is what it's about. The camera is the thing I can hide behind as really a shy, introverted person, but I wanna meet people. I wanna hear a little bit about their story. I wanna hear about what they're doing. And the camera is the key to that. The camera is my passport. The camera lets me into places and into people's lives and I get to just hang out and you know, I'm gonna follow this guy on Instagram. I'm gonna stay connected with him. Next time I'm in Havana, I'm gonna look him up and I'm gonna bring him some supplies he needs for his shop. Uh, that's how it works and it's fantastic. There are times when I'm in a situation or in a place where a bunch of school kids suddenly show up while I'm trying to make a video. All right, cool. 
take 18 million. What I've learned about myself is that if I'm traveling and I take a bunch of photography equipment with me, all the lenses and the cameras and the lights and all the stuff, then I end up focusing more on photography. I end up focusing more on getting the picture instead of focusing on where I am and taking in the place and experiencing it and making new memories and meeting new people and learning new things. The gear gets in the way of that. And now when I travel, it's exclusively the X100. That's all I need. There are, of course, times when I'm in a situation or at a place and I think, oh, I wish I had a little something wider or I had a, a longer lens for some compression or to get me a little bit closer to something like, say, crashing waves on the Malacon. But what I like is that that limit of a fixed lens for the whole week I've been here has made me have to figure it out. Say, okay, I don't have that wider lens. I don't have that longer lens. There's still pictures to be made. There's still an image to be had. And so I push myself to find that image, to get closer, to stand back further than maybe I normally would, to, to reconsider the frame I'm trying to make. And if I count up all the times where I said, oh, I wish I had, to all the times where I said, I'm glad I'm not carrying all that stuff, the I'm not carrying all that stuff clearly wins. At night, this corner of the plaza is just filled with people from the neighborhood, and they just are hanging out, playing dominoes, playing music, having a little drink, having some laughs. It's just an awesome way that they end their day. So the first few nights I was here, I just sort of sat at the edge, just watching people and how they interacted and, 
and I started to take some pictures and I started handing out some Instax prints and uh, the next night I bought, brought a case of beer and I'll tell you what, Instax prints and a case of beer is gonna get you everywhere you need in life sometimes. And now, every night when I'm done with my day and I'm finished with all the stuff I need to do, I just come hang out with all my new amigos and amigas and uh, we sit, we have a drink, we chat about life and it's been like the funnest thing I've done on this trip so far. You go that way. Bravo, bravo, bravo. Gracias, gracias. Muchas gracias. Muchas gracias. Muchas, muchas gracias.